Hey all, thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of Dynamo Shorts on Dynamo BIM. I am in Revit 2024.2 and going to review some of my favorite features and shortcuts within Dynamo 2.19.3. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I am working within the find and replace script that we created within episode 12 of Dynamo Shorts to demonstrate some of these shortcuts that we're not necessarily going to be running this script at all. The first shortcut that I want to show you guys is actually how to create a code block. A code block is something that we create within Dynamo very often, use very, very frequently. And to create that within a shortcut, we're just going to double click here within our canvas. And this of course can be used for really anything in addition to code. It can be used as even just a data exchange, right? From one port to another. Next shortcut we're going to show here is actually something that you may have seen or may have witnessed on accident within Dynamo. And that's actually how to add a node to a group. Now you can see it actually is dependent on where my cursor is located. So where if I come in and I drag a node into an existing group, you can see it will add it to that group. Now once again, this is maybe something that you've done by accident. Maybe you want to undo this or maybe you want to remove a node from a group we can hold alt and drag that node out of the group to remove it the next shortcut we're going to talk about is actually to duplicate either a node or a group of nodes so either selecting the single node itself or the group that it belongs to we can just like in Revit hold control and drag to duplicate, once again, a node or a group of nodes. Now this is really wonderful, especially if I want to do some testing. Typically, if I want to start updating parameter values for tests, I don't necessarily want to update what those values say within Dynamo Player, right? These are typically things that I've set as inputs by default so that they are much easier and more intuitive for my user within Dynamo Player. So by duplicating that, I can then use this to update my, my parameter value, for example, if I wanted to do some other testing. And the next shortcut allows me to take a group of outputs and transfer them to another output. You can see here, this is actually wired to three separate inputs there. If I hold shift, I can take that group of outputs by just clicking that output group and clicking where I want it to go. And then once again, once I'm done with my testing, I can then click and take it back by holding shift. Once again, a wonderful way for me to save time during testing. Now you'll also see within Dynamo Player that the break values aren't really accepted within Revit 2024. So to correct this, one really wonderful thing that we can do is we can actually create a note and pin it to the node this will actually create a subtext for that input. Now we can see here under edit, we can create a note and that is actually control W. Really wonderful way to create a note on the fly. And I can come in and I can select both that note and the node and I can pin it to that node take the value that I would like to create as subtext here, save my script, and we can see now I have a subtext. The next shortcut I'm going to discuss is from the monocle package. Wonderful shortcuts, tons of them. 
Um, one of them in particular that I'm going to talk about is how to create a list from a group of node outputs. Now, if you don't have Monocle, make sure you check out episode 18 from Dynamo Shorts, where we talk about how to download custom packages. In particular, we talk about how to download Monocle. So definitely check that out in the link below. Now, by selecting nodes, multiple nodes that have outputs, what I have the option of doing here is using this wrench and the shopping cart above to then create a list from those output values. This has saved me tons of time in the generation of lists. And this last feature I am going to demonstrate is quite new and hopefully not only will be a shortcut that saves you lots of time, but also will be something that helps you learn Dynamo one of my favorite things and one of the things that probably brought you here today. Now to enable this feature, we actually have to go to Dynamo in the top left, it's Dynamo dropdown and go to preferences. And in features, we're going to enable node autocomplete. You can see that it does give us some options within here. Definitely check those out. And essentially what node autocomplete allows me to do is double click on an input. And this will essentially allow me to see what Dynamo expects me to input into this node input. You can see 37% of the time comes from all elements of category. And the majority of the rest of the time comes from a filter by Boolean mask, which you can actually see it's pretty much exactly what we have going on here from our get parameter value by name. Once again, that is a feature we have to enable here within our preferences and features. Ensure that autocomplete is enabled within there. And then of course we can double click on an input to get those autocomplete values. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of Dynamo Shorts on Dynamo BIM. Make sure you subscribe to get information about new episodes and upcoming information. And of course, make sure you like this if you got good information. Here's a message about our sponsor. Thanks again. Need help with Dynamo workflows you've seen on Dynamo BIM or any other Dynamo training or assistance? Our sponsor, BIMXT Network, has you covered. Send an email with your request as well as your contact information to info at cadmicrosystems.com. In addition, BIMXC Network holds meetings to bring together bright, curious, engaging people across various disciplines and countries to exchange design and construction technology ideas. BIMXC Network hosts presentations virtually through the online platform as well as in person at locations along the East Coast. For information about the BIMXT network, please make sure you go to LinkedIn and search for the BIMXT network group. By joining this group, you'll get information about upcoming meetings, information about previous meetings, including links to the recordings of those meetings, as well as any information about meetings that could be happening near you.